Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Happy 4th of July for all the US watchers and for everyone else that is not celebrating the 4th of July. Happy Saturday and uh, I just had a nice uh, pancake breakfast this morning like a real American breakfast to celebrate a bit the 4th of July. So best regards from Switzerland over to the US. And now, before we start with today's TA, I have to announce that later on we're going to do the live stream over on Twitch with the selection of the winner of our weekly Bitcoin giveaway. So make sure to tune in later in Twitch. So you find the link down below here in the video description to join the Twitch channel if you want to watch it live. Otherwise, the replay is going to be uploaded here also on YouTube. So tune in later, subscribe here to the channel on YouTube and also over on Twitch. And now let's get started with today's TA. I know Bitcoin is still trading here towards $9,000. It's still a bit boring because we don't have a real big move yet. We are still waiting for a potential big leg down towards our bearish targets or a recovery back up towards 9,500 and possibly test the 10K level. But currently we are still trading in this area here. Bitcoin is still floating around this 9,000 to $9,200 and we're still waiting here for a possible breakout or for a possible indication where we're going to head next. So currently here in the one hour time frame, we are still more bearish than bullish. We are still trading below the 20 moving average. As you can see, currently the moving average is pressing us down. Also, we are still trading below the 15, the RSI. Stochastic is coming down from overbought condition. So here I'm expecting some more moves to the downside. But don't forget, we closed the yesterday, the CM is here at $9,125. So wherever we are going through the weekend, we're going to create a new future gap in case that we're going to have a big pump or dump. So keep that in mind. And this is also my strategy for the weekend. I'm not going to open a trade currently, not here on Bybit and also not here on Bityard, as long as we're not seeing a move this weekend. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait till the markets are going to open again on Monday before we can re-enter a trade. But for the weekend, I'm waiting here first to see if Bitcoin is going to do a big pump or dump to potentially have a new CME gap. Otherwise, I'm just going to wait till the markets on Monday are going to open again. So currently, it looks like the momentum is still shifted to the downside here in the one hour. So I'm still more looking for a little short opportunity than a long, unless we're going to fall deep here into the 8K area and then open up at those price levels again on Monday. Then it's another story. But currently, I think that we could be in here for a potential move to the downside. So here in the Bollinger Band in the one hour, you can also see that currently we are getting rejected from the first middle line. So the target could be down here at around $9,000. So we could be testing this uh, level again. The MACD is now shifted to the upside, but it's quite flat. So here in the one hour, it's not clear yet in which direction we are heading to. And also we are squeezing here between uh, about $100 of trading range. So the top here is at $9,100 and the bottom here is of uh, $9,060. So this is just $40 of difference. And that's why I think here very, very soon we're going to have a breakout to the upside or to the downside very very soon because we're squeezing within these 40 dollars here in the bollinger band and if we go over here into the four hour time frame you can see that currently the 20 moving average is perfectly lining up with our resistance up here of around 9100 dollar and in theory now we are creating this potential descending triangle which could take us down again towards 8900 dollar the thing is that in case that we're going to take out this low over here at 8,940, it is very likely that we are also going to take out this low that we had previously and start to continue to create a lower highs and also lower lows, which is a bearish, at least for the short term. For the longer term, it could be bullish because we could be still trapped here in this potential falling wedge and we could break out here to the upside anytime 
soon but at least for the short term it looks like that bitcoin potentially could go lower than these lows that we created over here and continue this creation of lower lows we also have the rsi below the 50 level we're still trading on the bearish side stochastic is oversold currently so we could potentially see a 20 moving average retest here of 9110 dollars this is also where maybe i gonna uh, do a little uh, risky uh, short trade in case that we are going up there and get rejected again and if we open up the bollinger band in the four hour here also we are trading in the lower part and currently we are getting rejected also here from the first middle line so in theory if we can close a, a four hour candle above nine thousand one hundred dollar we could be heading towards our next resistance level of nine thousand one hundred thirty and only if we close also above this price level we are back here in the upper area and in theory we could easily go up again to retest nine thousand three hundred dollar but as i told you as long as we are not starting to close candles in the four hour and daily time frame above nine thousand five hundred dollars i think we are definitely now shifted again to the downside and the trend is back into the bearish mode so even though we could even go up here towards nine thousand three hundred dollar i still think that as long as nine thousand five hundred dollar is not broken anymore we're definitely shifted to the upside and we should consider po potentially to sell the rallies and try to short the tops and not the other way around until we're gonna reach our bearish targets which are still far away from us so here in the four hour you can see in theory we could drop towards eight thousand nine hundred dollar again macd is also shifted to the downside but similar like in the one hour we are quite flat here and if we open up the daily time frame here you can see that we are still trading below the 20 daily moving average and also here it is very likely that we could go again up here to retest the 20 daily at 9250 and there again we have to see if we're still getting rejected from it or not i still think that the 20 daily is now acting as a resistance so in case that the price is going up there again watch out for the 20 daily at 9245 this could be also a good short opportunity and the rsi is also trading here below the 50 so also here in the one hour four hour and now also in the daily time frame we are trading below the 50 level in the rsi which is bearish stochastic is very close to oversold condition that is the only positive and bullish thing here in the daily because that could indicate that maybe we're gonna see another leg up but in theory we are trading on the bearish side so even though we could see a little pump here towards 9250 it looks like that we could be also heading here into lower prices even down here towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is at the 8400 dollar and i think if we're going that low and the 200 will not hold maybe we're going to have an initial bounce from it but if the 200 daily will not hold watch out for our main bearish targets down here between 7200 dollar and the 0.618 fib line here at 6400 dollar i think this region down here is the potential target of a major dump and this is also my the last opportunity to buy really cheap bitcoins and start to scale in big long positions positions over here on Bybit or BTYARD depending if you want to trade with Tether here on BTYARD or with your cryptos over here on Bybit and now let's have a look also in the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently here we are also trading in the lower part we could easily fall here towards eight thousand nine hundred dollar and you can see that currently the first middle line is giving us resistance only a daily close above 9300 could indicate that we could be shifted again to the upside and we could see a potential 9500 dollar retest again but as long as we're not closing daily candles above 9300 we're definitely shifted to the downside also macd is still bearish we have to wait at least till we're gonna have a bullish cross here and the potential close of at least above 9300 dollar to change our sentiment again back into bullish but currently we are definitely shifted to the downside and i would consider to look for shorts at the moment and not for longs unless during the weekend we're really gonna drop significantly and we're gonna have a big future gap to the upside then this could be a good long opportunity but at the time of recording i would consider to open up shorts and not longs and consider also that we have currently a lot of longs compared to shorts so if you open up shorts you're gonna get some funding rates all right and now let's open up the weekly time frame because here in the weekly we are still very bullish this is currently the only time frame where, where everything is still looking good because we're trading above the 20 weekly moving average which is at 8650 
and maybe during the weekend or maybe next week we're gonna have a retest of this moving average which I think is very likely and also continue this trend that we have currently with these lower lows and lower highs in theory the 20 weekly moving average should hold as a support during a bull run so let's see if we are able to stay above the 20 weekly or not because here we have the RSI still above the 50 level which is bullish stochastic is overbought so it would be very healthy if we can cool off here a bit the stochastic at least down to neutral condition before we're gonna have another big leg up so we would have enough room to the upside here on the weekly time frame as well and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the weekly here also we are quite bullish even though here the first middle line is giving us resistance here at $9,300 so in theory we could drop easily towards the next target of $8,250 which I think could happen this week or maybe latest the next week because currently we're trading between this range here of $9,300 and $8,250 and that's why I'm telling you if you consider to open up a leveraged trade consider to open up a short position because here based on the weekly Bollinger Band it looks like that we're gonna trade here between $8,250 and $9,300. MACD is still shifted to the upside which is good but I think if we're gonna have here a little crash towards this target down here we could also see a potential bearish cross in the MACD and this could indicate that we're gonna have maybe a couple of weeks with some movements to the downside. Alright guys and with that side I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Remember that later we're gonna do the selection winner of the $10 Bitcoin so make sure to tune in over on Twitch or watch then the video here on YouTube and if you still need an account for Bybit or BTRT you find the sign up links down below here in the video description with my links you can get some rewards and sign up bonuses of course you have to put some deposit or do some trades to get the full bonuses but it's really worth it and especially if you want to try it out these two exchanges I very much recommend you because on BTR you can trade easily with Tether all the coins that you see here in the list and on Bybit you can trade with your own cryptos Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS or XRP with US dollar pair directly and also Bybit has a very nice rewards hub where you can claim some bonuses not only based on your trading volume but also if you follow them for example over on Twitter or you just put a first deposit and also you can get up to $50 completely for free so if you like the content guys make sure to give a like subscribe to the channel here thank you very much for watching and we see us all in the next one bye